What's up, YouTube Nation? This is One Cool Mike back in effect. It's Sunday. I hope you're having a blessed day and always give the man up above praise. Right now, we're going to do box opening time. And you know, that could be exciting or it could not be exciting. But in this case, I want to give my bumper... I'm always taking my bumper off, so I, I bought some um, bumper fasteners where you could take it off real quick, fast. And let's open up this box, and I think that's what's in here. And also, the heating gun... So when I do the wrap, um, I can use the heating gun as well. But let's open up this box. All right, see, this is what we have. These to secure the bumper in place. As you see, the bumper is good on this side, but on this side, the bumper is dangling, you see? So, we're going to take care of that situation. And, uh, and also, it came in the color that I want. That lime green. And um, I'm going to get to that. Also, we got the, the heating gun for the wrap. And y'all better go and get Amazon Prime because this is what I got. All right. Got the gun for the wrap. So I got a lot of projects ahead of me and I'm also going to um, do the rims. I'm going to put the rims on maybe in this video or another video. But for right now, I want to do those bumpers so the bumper won't fall off while we driving. But in the meantime, I get back to you in two. Okay, Cool Nation, I'm about to drill the hole in the car so we can put these blockers on because the bumper is dragging and these are what it's look like. All right, and they go right here. So to secure the bumper from falling off or slagging. So let me, let me do that and let's get to it. And always put tape on the car to protect the, the car. You know, like I said, this car got 270,000 miles, my project car. You know what I'm saying? If it was a new car, then that'd be a different story. But look, let's get to it and let's make this happen. You gotta put a lot of pressure. Oh. The drill bit fell. This is real life stuff right here, baby. There ain't no pretty stuff going on around here. Okay, I want to get back to you as I punch this hole in the car. I'll be back in two. Okay, I punched the hole. I'm going to show you the hole. All right, then you take the tape off. And there you got the hole. And with the hole, you put these fasteners on. So... It's my first time doing everything, you know, but hey, everything's a learning process. So we're going to put these on and um, I want to get back to you in a minute. And also, 
you should always spray with some black spray paint because you don't want it the hole to rust. So I got some of that right here. Okay. And I'm gonna spray that in there. The plastic part, you don't have to spray this because it's plastic, of course. <laughs> but okay, but I'm gonna get back to you in two. Okay, Cool Nation. Your boy Mike got it on good. The gaps are closed, you know, pretty good. And I'm gonna buy the, the original bracket on Monday at the Hyundai dealer, but that's just give it some look. Like I said, I got some scuffs. The car gonna be paint. I got the the splitter. I got the mesh grill. And remember, this is the base. Yeah, I think it looks better than the turbo in the front. What do you think? Leave a comment in below. Like I said, now I'm gonna throw the rims on and I'm gonna attempt to wrap. Like I said, everything is a process and you know, it's like a project car, man. This car got 270,000 miles. Big up the Hyundai, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I just changed the oil regularly, changed the brakes, um, changed the fluids and stuff like that. But I wanted a little bit more aggressive look. And now let's throw, see the clips? It matches the, the bumper. Like I said, I got little scuffs on the, the bumper, but I'm gonna take care of that at a later date. I'll just throw, throw some stickers on there, you know, to give it that Formula One look or that racing look. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go on to the next project and I'll get back to you. I'm gonna paint the calipers. All right, let's go. Okay, Cool Nation, I'm about to paint my calipers and this is what I'm gonna use right here. It's a rust -Oleum. Florence's sign is bright neon. Okay, those are the calipers right now as you see it, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep it and let's begin. Always, if you want your brake, if you want your rotors covered, you know, go in the house, get a plastic bag and cover them. Like I said, I'm not a professional, but I try. That's all you can do in life is try too, man. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. You know, like I said, those are the people who are miserable. They always try to tell you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you only got one life, live it, man. So I cover the calipers and always cover the floor with an old rug or something like that, right? Okay, let's shake the can real well. You know, you gotta shake it good. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. And always keep it in a warm climate. You know, today is like maybe 55 or something like that. I kept it in the house, so. But with these things, you gotta uh, keep it clean. Okay, here we go. And test. Test it before you spray. You know, um, you can find something and test it on. I'm gonna test it on the bag right here. I'm gonna test it on the bag. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get more than one coat. And stand back when you when you spray paint it. You don't want no runs. And always use vent ventilation when you're doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got the garage door open. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to inhale all these chemicals. You know, it might just be a spray can, 
paint thing, but always keep the garage open or window open for ventilation. So how is it looking so far, Cool Nation? And this glows in the dark right here. This is neon color right here. So that's my theme, you know, again, the seat's done. I, I got the brace, the, um, the kit on the front. So I'm trying, like I said, this is a project car. And, um, you know, you want to have fun, you know what I'm saying? You kill some time, you know, get a project car, work on it, you know. Hey, we all can't afford Lamborghinis and high-end cars, you know what I'm saying? But um, they try to make it the best, and, and you get the satisfaction out of it. So let's continue. We're going to just let this sit. We're going to go over these. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take off the back wheel and we're going to go on to the next. We're going to let that dry and we're going to come and spray that again. We're going to put the car on car jacks, all right? And like I said, safety first. Always put the tire underneath the car. You know, sometimes the jack may collapse, you know what I'm saying? So always be safe. All right, let's go on to the next. Okay, Cool Nation, I'm back. That's the front over there. And now um, we're gonna do the back. So let's do the same procedure as we did the front. Let's cover the rotors. Okay. Oh, I forgot to go and get I don't want nothing to get on the floor. So you take the cloth and always put your nuts aside. You don't want to get them lower. Ha ha ha. Yeah, put the cloth down. So we're about to spray this right here. And so make sure the bag is covered. Okay. Remember, the, the back is always smaller than the front. Okay, I don't know if you can see that from afar. All right, so we got the back situated. I'm trying to show you all angles. And like I said, we're gonna let this dry. Okay, as that's drying, we got two more sides to do. And then, you know, we're going to put the rims on. That's going to be the big finale. <laughs> or supposed to be. Look at the light. Look at the light. I'll be back in two. Okay, Cool Nation. This is the passenger side. We're almost there. 
Like I said, I'm not going to bore you all. You know, a lot of people bore you all with the talking and all that. I just want to show you all. You know, maybe you couldn't see it from a better angle. Maybe you could see this angle better. So, like I said, always check the can once again. And let's spray it. And cover the floor. You don't want to get this on the garage floor. And then it's hard to get up. So, let's spray this. And we, we cover the rotor as we said. And leave a comment if you if you feel that I'm doing it wrong. I, I could I could understand that criticism, you know what I'm saying? But to point stuff out and, and trying to hit me below the belt, <laughs> yo, some people just do that, man, to make them feel good. But uh, I don't mind comments like that. So next time, uh oh. Uh-oh. Cool nation. I think we got a clog clogeration here. Sometimes the cap might get clogged. There you go. All right. So... I'm not going to bore you with the last one. When I finish, um, I will get back to you. Um, I'm going to try to throw the rims on here tonight. Because tomorrow, I'm going to go and get the seats done. So, um, you know, you know, sometimes you got to take pride in what you do. And um, I'm trying, like I said, once again. And uh, I want to get back to you when I put the rims on. No. I hope it looks real nice at the end. But it's looking good, though. It's looking good. You know what I'm saying? But leave a comment in below if you have any suggestions or if you want some tips from me. And once again, this is what I use right here. You can pick it up at the Home Depot. Um, this one glows in the dark, so your calipers will be glowing. But anyway, um, I'll get back to you in two.